Boots has been called the greatest development in the history of merchandising, and he the epitome of an immigrant son who worked hard and risked much to build a business. Sylvan Nathan Goldman was born in Ardmore, Indian Territory, in 1898. He learned the grocery business from the ground up from his uncles, who owned what were then called service stores, in which customers were actually waited on. In 1927, the Goldmans pioneered the self-service store, the model for today's grocery stores. But the problem was the baskets, which were cumbersome and smaller than retailers would have liked. The solution was inspired by an ordinary folding chair, which Sylvan Goldman visualized with wheels and two of the wire shopping baskets which were in use in the 30s. It became that most ubiquitous of American inventions, the shopping cart. That invention launched a retail and real estate empire that would be valued at half a billion dollars when Sylvan Goldman died in 1984, although he preferred to be known more as a philanthropist than an inventor or investor, and it nearly didn't happen. When those carts were introduced in standard food markets in June of 1937, no one would use them. Men thought they were effeminate. Women were reminded too much of baby carriages. It wasn't until an interview with CBS's Charles Kuralt in 1977 that the world learned how Sylvan Goldman encouraged the use of the shopping cart. He hired people of various ages and sexes to push them around his Oklahoma City stores. In other words, he used chills. I'm Charles Newcomb with Centennial Stories.